Hello, everyone. Welcome back to A Sound Mind, um, instruction and song craft and everything in between. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I've got another Easy Drummer 3 video here for you. Uh, this is in response to a question I had that re was regarding the grid editor selection here. We had gone over some grid editing uh, techniques in a few of the previous videos. Uh, this is in regards to the difference between uh, velocity and dynamics. And there's no better way to show you than to show you the visual aspect of it as well as training your ear to it. So what we're going to do here is if I, uh, if you guys remember in the last couple videos, I did tell you that you can, you know, basically select all um, and you have that option. But what I like to do is actually select here on the left hand side, much like the piano roll MIDI uh, that has been around since it seems like the creation of time. Um, so I like the fact that, you know, they label it a kick uh, rather than a C or whatever it's labeled, you know, on the MIDI. So y you can see actually what you're doing. So again, visually connecting your eyes and your ears to recognizing what's going on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight the kick and you can see all the kicks are highlighted here in yellow corresponding to the yellow down here. And I'm just going to play it again. Just listen to it. Kind of focus on your kick there. Okay. One more time. Okay, now with all the kicks highlighted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this velocity. So I'm going to raise it all the way up to 127 which is the top end of the velocity scale. And I don't know if you guys saw what happened there. You can see there's a difference in hit level, right? Now when you slide the velocity up, everything will move in proportion to the ceiling, which is 127. Now listen to the kick. Okay, now listen. Okay, so everything is at one level. That's basically what that is. Now, what's the difference between the velocity and the dynamics? Well, this is where it gets really fun. So again, just the kick highlighted. Now I'm going to increase the dynamic slider. And notice what happens. Some go up, some go down. We're increasing the, the dynamic range, which is the lowest level to the highest level the difference, basically the human factor in some form or fashion created through the algorithm. So now listen to that. Pretty cool. Big difference between the two. Again, sliding the velocity up, everything moves in proportion as one, okay? And it scales at the difference it was between originally. So these were always going to be the same differential level until you hit the basement or the ceiling, okay? The dynamics. the same thing, but the basement or the ceiling is dependent on what it's playing off against. So for example, this is at 127, this is at 22. And now we're back to normal, okay? Now notice when you hit this humanize button. Okay. So that adjusts your velocity in terms of, of, well, again, like it said here, it increases the realism by adjusting the velocity and micro timing, okay? Now let's get out of the kick drum. Let's go to the snare. I'm going to solo this. Now look at these levels. Focus on these spots right here. Just take a listen to that. Hmm, okay. Let's go right there. 
And let's adjust the velocity. Okay. There wasn't much headroom on this flam right here. So when I adjust that velocity, it wasn't too long before we got to the top. go down in proportion we're all going down okay now let's leave it there now I'm gonna play with the dynamics let's get a little bit more differential right here let's see if I can do that at this level uh -huh. I did but now this is so quiet I can't even hear it so let's try boosting that Randomize. Let's go even more. Now notice what that's doing. That's randomizing this velocity spread. Okay. Let's put that back. Let's put that back. Let's put that back. Let's go here. There we go. Total velocity, difference in dynamics from the loudest to the softest, giving me a dynamic range, and then randomizing that velocity range that will overall change the dynamic range. So there's what we have now. Listen to where it was. So again, these tools down here, they give you, really allow you to massage it any way you want it. I mean, you can deep dive on this, or you can just do the, you know, the top level layer, and you're going to be you're going to be fine, but just having this as the options and explaining and understanding what the difference is, and the best way, like I said, to do that is to actually visually, visually work with the grid editor as well as your ears, because when you can understand the concept of it, of velocity, dynamics, and the randomized functions, it will allow you to, to better uh, choose uh, select uh, different variations of parts because you're going to understand what that concept meant or what that velocity level meant or what the dynamic range level means um, and how it functions in your in your creation of your song when you're building your drums because that's the whole idea of what this is about this is this is enabling you to give that extra level and sense of realism with these tools down here and they already do a great job of setting it up for you with your uh, humanize button here um, but the deep dive levels that you can go to um, and again like I said I like to work in a row at a time that's usually what I like to do um, or a particular file row at a time not the entire song but the file selection row that's what I like to do I seem to get the best results that way and changing those velocity and dynamics and uh, randomize options per file, you'll get better results uh, from my experience. So again, play around with it, listen to it, but more importantly, look at what you're doing so your eyes can match up with those changes so you understand what that is actually doing to the particular instrument that you're selecting. All right? All right, I hope that answered the question. Thanks again for um, the questions. If you have any more, please feel free to ask. I'll try to make a video on it. Um, and if you can, if you like the video, like and subscribe. And until next time, later.